Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this video right now because I feel like, first off, when I'm filming this video, I have not made a video or uploaded a video in about a month. Like, honestly, a little bit more than a month, which is so long for me because I am used to posting here on YouTube weekly. I literally like never miss a week. Like it's very rare for me to miss one week. So missing like five, six weeks is crazy. So I'm very excited to be filming today's video. And also I'm excited because it's very special kind of video. So if you guys obviously saw a couple videos ago, I announced my pregnancy. And it has been like honestly the biggest secret to keep from you guys and also just like obviously I wanted to get through the first trimester first and today I'm officially 12 weeks literally today so I thought I would film like a first trimester update and how like my first trimester went and I want to give you guys details and the scoop of how my first trimester was just because for my first trimester I was literally like off the internet MIA keeping it secret on the low obviously wanted to wait till I was out of my first trimester just to make sure everything was safe and just you know a lot of people like to wait till they're out of the first trimester to like really announce to people but I thought that I still wanted to like let you guys know how it was show you guys some little videos here and there pictures and everything like that and just give you guys like a little update of how my first trimester went I'm also going to show you guys my bump I have like a tiny little bump but I will show you guys and I'll just show you guys right now first off I'm wearing like a little jumpsuit my style has not changed guys so this is like my little bump that I have going on it is not that big but I don't know actually what do you guys think it's a little I don't know sometimes it looks bigger sometimes it looks smaller I just ate right now too so it does look a little bit bigger but every day it looks a little bit different all right it's honestly so crazy to me that I'm already like at the end of the first trimester like about to go into my second trimester which is really like honestly the time is going by fast and I feel like it's just gonna go by faster now that people know because I felt like the first trimester the first couple weeks were for sure dragging on because like we weren't telling my parents we weren't telling anybody it was kind of just between me and JC for a bit so those weeks kind of did drag on but I don't know the past couple weeks have really sped up and I just feel like it's just gonna keep speeding up as the months go by so I want to share with you guys my like symptoms that I was feeling I'll share with you guys like my current symptoms and then symptoms that I felt in the earlier stages of my pregnancy also the fact that I am out of breath right now is so embarrassing please bear with me because I'm really trying to say a lot and it's just I haven't filmed in a long time so it's very weird for me so at the very very beginning of my pregnancy like the first kind of symptoms that I felt I did not like take a pregnancy test because I was feeling symptom no actually that's why I was feeling one symptom and that was a lot of cramping and I wasn't supposed to start my period for like a couple of weeks and so I felt a lot of cramping it just felt like period cramps but that's very very normal and for a couple of weeks I felt cramping on and off and just like it kind of just felt like period cramps I personally get period cramps either way so it wasn't like anything too crazy but it was just a little like uncomfortable and annoying so I did get cramps and another big thing like in the beginning of my trimester I don't have the symptom anymore but was like this might be TMI tender breasts and like sore breasts and like <laughs> very sensitive like nipples that I feel like I really want to be open with this pregnancy, okay? So if that's TMI, I'm so sorry. But that, like, they were literally hurting so much. I feel like I already had bigger breasts to begin with. So them just, like, kind of getting fuller and being tender, it was just uncomfortable, okay? It was not it. But I did have that symptom in the very beginning. I thank God, thank you so much. I have not experienced nausea at all maybe once but I don't get it like every single day or anything like that and I don't even know if that was what I was experiencing that one time but I have not gotten nausea which is so good and I'm so thankful for that but I have been getting morning sickness like this entire first trimester almost every single morning I throw up it's on an empty stomach so it's just like throwing up acid and stuff so 
that has been amazing especially like right before I'm gonna go to work and honestly I have been arriving to work very late because it's a little setback in my mornings. That is a very, very, very annoying symptom that I have been experiencing. So I love a good morning sickness, but I am extremely grateful that I do not have the nausea because I don't know how women do it. I am so grateful that I don't have to experience that and I hope that I don't have to experience it at all in this pregnancy. So I am crossing my fingers, but the morning sickness has been very annoying and very disgusting. I get grossed out very easily, like very, very easily. I gross myself out for no reason. And so I'm like, I'm constantly gagging all the time. And sometimes like the gagging will make me throw up even if it's not in the morning. So it's just beautiful symptoms that we have going on here. I did notice an appetite increase. But at the same time, I'm like, girl, like, I could always eat. I was always hungry to begin with, even before I got pregnant. But I feel like definitely now, I just want everything. But at the same time, like, the past couple weeks, I just feel like I'm not craving anything. Like, nothing sounds good to me, which is so weird. Because in the beginning, I was like, oh my god, I want everything. I want to eat literally everything. Now I'm like, oh, like, nothing sounds good to me. I don't know. It's a really weird transition. And I don't, it's never like me to be like, nothing sounds good, girl, because I am always hungry. And so the past like two weeks, I would say, I've just been feeling grossed out. But for the majority, I have noticed an appetite increase. And another symptom that I was getting was just bloatingness. Like, I still feel like I'm extremely bloated. Like, I know my stomach is growing, obviously. But in the beginning, like, I have like a little pouch and like the top of my stomach was so bloated girl I looked like I was about five months pregnant and I don't know like I don't know why I just experienced a lot of bloating and that's really annoying shout out to bloom I love her she's my home girl and she kept me good but oh my god it's so annoying I hate being bloated in general so being bloated and pregnant is just like ugh. for the most part that has been my symptoms my number one symptom I think I would say is just like fatigue feeling super tired feeling like i have no energy and i feel like i'm low-key starting to pick up my energy like today i mean i'm filming so that's crazy i usually like my morning my day would be like going to work after going to like tj maxx the stores film tiktoks for you guys plan youtube videos film that during the week like go on the weekend like film all my content like girl i have not done one thing <laughs> For the past 12 weeks like i have been so tired and honestly that symptom is it just sucks so much because before pregnancy i feel like i was super productive during the weekend you would not catch me in my bed at home at all and so recently it's just been that's all my weekends have been consisting of and my weekdays like i come home from work and i'm done like i just want to end the day <laughs> So it has been very hard for me because I am used to being productive and honestly I'm not like super super hard on myself. It's kind of hard for me to like digest it but I'm like girl your body's working overtime non-stop so give yourself a break sis and just sit the fuck down and don't do anything. That has been my main symptom and I still feel that symptom today so I'm hoping that in the second trimester we will get over that and have some more energy because girl i have a lot of things to be planning so i feel like that is like the symptoms portion for my first trimester i feel like i'm not forgetting anything else i mean i think i covered pretty much everything that i have been feeling i want to talk about like the ups of my first trimester and the downs and there's not like too many but i just thought to like kind of put this video in categories some of the ups from my first trimester was first off going to see the first ultrasound was so much fun and exciting that was something we were definitely looking forward to i think we saw the first ultrasound at like nine weeks and i found out i was pregnant about like four weeks so it felt like a long time waiting for that ultrasound appointment to finally come but when it did it was so much fun and it was a lot of relief because we just knew that the baby was healthy and we got to hear the heartbeat which was so exciting unfortunately they didn't let us film the actual ultrasound which is very annoying like i don't know why i wouldn't be able to film my own ultrasound like isn't that weird i don't know but they didn't let us 
but we saw the baby the baby was just a little bean and it was so cute because obviously we do not know the gender right now so I, it's kind of hard to say he or she but the baby was like kind of like bouncing around and it was just so little but the baby was very active in my stomach so hearing the heartbeat was really really cool and amazing and just like a surreal moment and it just made it seem very real because I knew I was pregnant but I'm like I can't feel anything and it's just like a little suspicious and so going to the first ultrasound gave me that like clarification and I feel like reality really sunk in after that ultrasound and yeah, just finding out that the baby was healthy was very exciting and gave me some peace of mind. Then also another up of this first trimester was telling people. And we have only been telling people for like the past like two, three weeks. And honestly, we did start telling people kind of early. I just at least wanted to wait till the first ultrasound. So after the first ultrasound, we did start telling people. Obviously, we told my parents before the first ultrasound and his parents, but besides that, like, my, our parents had to keep a secret for a couple of weeks and telling people was so much fun We filmed a lot of our friends and family's reaction to us telling them I don't know if that video is gonna be before this one or after this one But stay tuned for that if it's not already up because that was a lot of fun It was so exciting to tell everybody and like we personally went to everybody personally face to face to tell them and it was just a lot of fun everyone's reactions were exciting and just made us really excited and grateful for all the support that we have i am very excited to find out the gender but we will not be finding out until june 8th which is like come on girl but that is because we're gonna throw a gender reveal party so stay tuned for like a gender reveal video that's gonna be so exciting I literally cannot wait and then last week we took a little getaway to San Felipe and that was my first like little outing like my big outing because I'm telling you guys I have just been in my house doing nothing so that was like a little I was scared because it's about a four hour drive there and four hours back so I was a little scared but I did very good very proud of myself and it was just nice to kind of get away from everybody but it's very surreal because when you're pregnant you can't do shit so my boyfriend was like riding the can riding the motorcycles and like quads and stuff and your homegirl was just over here eating chamangos so it was a fun little getaway but you know it sucks when you can't really do much <sighs> okay so for like the downs of this trimester obviously like the symptoms that i shared with you guys obviously suck and weighed me down a lot but it's fine like i was saying earlier honestly the biggest thing for me was being unproductive and just being tired all the time like that really affected me and i feel like it's still affecting me because honestly it took me so much to do my makeup do my hair to film this video and like seriously like i would have been able to do that in a second before i was pregnant so it's just a lot more effort that i have to put in which sucks because like I'm not used to this at all. Another down is, this is so fat of me, but the food that you cannot eat, like I cannot eat sushi, I love sushi. I cannot eat my favorite food on the planet, which is ceviche. <sighs> so this has been very hard for me, like the food part. I can't really drink coffee. I haven't drank coffee like this whole pregnancy. I know you can drink like a certain amount of like caffeine or whatever, but I haven't at all. So without coffee is like, I wasn't like addicted to coffee, but I kind of was at the same time I really liked like just going to coffee shops and grabbing coffee. I just liked that whole experience So I haven't been able to do that Honestly like a huge down for me is like is not being able to create content not only because I'm tired But also because my content in my mind right now is like pregnancy And so I haven't been able to like share with you guys what I've been really wanting to post like on my Instagram stories and stuff for like TikToks because I kind of have to keep it, you know, what my content usually is, but it's kind of hard because obviously I'm going through all of this and I want to share it with you guys. Now I will be able to, but that was just a big down of this first trimester. I mean, there wasn't that many downs. I am so grateful for this pregnancy and I'm so grateful that it's been going accordingly. We have our next ultrasound on May 6th, so I will be seeing baby again. On May 20 something, we're gonna go do like the gender reveal ultrasound give it to our gender keeper and then we're gonna be planning our gender reveal which i've been doing so much planning already i'm so excited for you guys to see that video that'll be a very exciting video for you guys all right guys so now i'm here with jc and i thought that we would 
go over the old wives tales like the gender predictions to see what it tallies up to oh can you keep track? i don't really believe in this stuff but uh okay we'll see i guess we're gonna come back and see when we know yeah, the gender i'll be fooled if i yes so i have like a list of everything we're gonna go through the list and i'll keep like tally marks on each side this side will be team girl and then his side will be team, team boy. boy so let's go through everything and see what tallies up so cravings have i been craving sweet or salty salty yes i always crave salty but that's your normal so, I know. so that's why i'm saying like i don't really i don't know because i always crave salty i never like sweets like i don't really like chocolate or anything and so salty is a point for the boy so one point for the boys morning sickness yes or no yes <laughs> a shit time i yeah i throw up every single morning basically and that is a point for the girls sleeping on left or right side you're always on the left yeah i always sleep on the left and that's a, a team boy mom's complexion clear or breakout clear Clear is another point for the boy. I mean, never had a bad skin. Mm -mm, not really. That's so what? That's like three for boy and one girl. Let's go. Um, foot size increased or same? Same. It's the same, but I'm also like kind of still early, so I don't know. That You're almost four months. You're two, three and a half. Yeah, that's true. Same yeah. is teen girl. All right, go. Heartbeat if it's less than 140 or over 140, and it was like 180. Yeah, it was over. When we went, it was like 180. So that is a point for the girls. So we're tied. Yeah, we're tied. Okay. Headaches, yes or no? Honestly, no. I only got a headache once, but I don't think consistently get headaches. Yeah. So that's a no. point for the girls. Emotions, chill or moody? Moody. <laughs> Another moody. point for the girls. Carrying baby low or high? I, I don't feel know. Like it's low. I feel like it's high. I feel like it's low. I don't know. You guys be the judge. This is what we're working with. I don't know what that is. I think it's low, but... I don't know. It's because you don't have much torso, because... I can't yeah. tell, guys, so... I feel like we shouldn't give a point for that. Temperature, hot or cold? I don't know. Cold? You think I'm more cold? Cold is a boy. Four. Dad's weight, same or gained? <laughs> Skip. <laughs> Skip. What do you think? I got big as hell. So gain, that's a girl. So six, four, right? For girl? Three girls winning? Six, yeah. <gasps> Dry skin or soft skin? I don't know. Soft. Soft is for girl. Damn, seven. Cold feet, yes or no? No. No. That's girl. Eight? <laughs> and then we also did the, like, the... Like the needle and and that was bullshit. Thing. No, before her you mom did. was doing this. <laughs> no, her mom was like, <laughs> I'm not moving it. The my hand was all fucking swirling and shit. When we did it and he wasn't there, even it was Aaron a girl. Said, it was a no, girl. Even Aaron said. Okay, dad's intuition. He thinks it's gonna be a boy. A boy. And my intuition, I don't know. I've been going back and forth, honestly. But the whole time I've said a girl, so I'll stick with girl. You never know until you never know. I don't even think it, it's I don't gonna know. be like that. So. We'll see. We'll come back to this video. Let us know your predictions in the comments down below. And I guess we're gonna have to come back to this video because we don't have the answer today. Mm -hmm. Also, let, let us know about your stories. Tell us if, if you've worked. played the same game. And it worked. And it came true. Yeah. Oh, also the, the Chinese calendar said, oh my god, I forgot what it said. Chinese it's, calendar? The Chinese calendar said boy. Chinese calendar. Ah, I was telling you were doubting Chinese calendar. So, yeah, we will come back and see. But that is all for the old wives tales. Um, that has been my first trimester. I can't believe I am already leaving my first trimester. That's crazy. But I wanted to kind of give you guys a little update and tell you guys have how I've been feeling and I also want to be able to like come back reflect like right when I'm about to give birth like how I was feeling in my first trimester but yeah you guys I am due October 26th um very close to Halloween so I hope I don't have a Halloween baby but we will see I do love that the baby's gonna be born in fall though because I love fall like that is my favorite season I love all those fall like spooky vibes everything fall pumpkin I'm obsessed with so I am very excited that my baby's gonna be born in that fall era that is all for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed 
and i will talk to you guys very soon make sure you guys follow me on all my social medias they're always linked down below and i'll have them here on the screen my tiktok my instagram is where i'm mainly active and make sure you guys subscribe of course and i will see you guys in my next video